Coin on. Hello, YouTube coin community. It's me, Robert, with Coin Up. Today, in our year in review, we are going to take a look at 1954. A good friend of the channel, Anna, has taken, and she says this is her birth year. So, we would like to take and look at that and just give a little bit of history. Uh, we'll go through some coins that are popular in that age as far as for today. How much they're worth. I'll give you a little bit of an idea about that. Um, during that year, Under God was added to the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, Rock Around the Clock, Bill Haley and the Comets was the most popular at that time. And Dwight Eisenhower was the president, and Richard Nixon was the vice president. That's just a few things. I'm going to go into more, and we'll have a little bit of fun looking at a little bit more of the history as we go on with our video. Um, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up. We hope you share this with your friends. Maybe somebody else will have a little bit of fun with some of the history from 1954. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, we hope you subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when we go live. We have an option every Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With every other Friday, we will try and have an auction at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we just did a $1 customer appreciation auction, which we had a lot of fun. If you didn't see it, we did it yesterday, which would be the 8th of January, 2020. You can look it up in our past videos. Um, we just had a lot of good fun. We might just take and do more of it in the future, too. So, like I say, it was just a lot of laughing, and, uh, yeah, it was just a lot of fun, especially when Florida Lena took, and she did one of the auction lots, and there was a lot of, uh, we just had good fun there. So, But let's get into a little bit more of the history and look at a few coins so i'll be back at the end of this and we'll discuss a little bit more but let's go ahead and get started in 1954 an ounce of gold would cost you 35 dollars and four cents a gallon of milk 91 cents and a dozen of eggs a whole 51 i'm sorry 59 cents a loaf of bread would cost you 17 cents to get a new card cost you between $1,548 to $2,415, and a gallon of gas would cost you $0.22. Cents. Now, if you used to get a home, the average home in 1954 was $8,650. In 1954, Sports Illustrated came out with their very first issue. It would take 10 more years for their first swimsuit edition to come out. In 1954, Elvis Presley began his music career, and Joe DiMaggio married the wonderful Marilyn Monroe, or better known as Norma Jean. And all this could better be seen with the invention of the color TV. RCA brought out the first color TV in 1954 at the expense of $1,000 per TV. And wouldn't you know it, Swanson followed it up because more time was being spent on TV with the fabulous TV dinner seen right here. And you can tell, they look a lot more yummier than they do today, just my opinion. Also in 1954, General Motors made the 50 millionth gold car that you can see here that was shown off in a lot of the car shows back in the day. In the coin market, if you would have saved rolls of 1954 Lincoln cents, they range in price from a mint state 64 of $12 to a mint state 67 of 27500 However, on January 9, 2019, at the Fun Show, one sold for $31,200. I guess somebody forgot to tell the seller that they were only valued at $27,500. Huh, that's an interesting one. However, moving on. For those of you who saved the Denver Mint Rolls of the Lincoln Cent, in 1954 there's a beautiful RPM number one that's actually a D over D over D. A Mint State 64 Red will bring you $55, where a Mint State 66 will fetch you $200. Not bad for a penny. For the Jefferson Nickel lovers out there, and especially the ones that enjoy the full steps, if you saved a few rolls of them and you happen to get lucky, a Mint State 63 full step will bring you $725. If you get lucky enough to have a Mint State 67, it'll bring you $40,000. Now, there's only one known to exist, as well as a 66 full step. And on May 17th, 2018, at a Legend Rare coin sale, one sold for $30,550. 
Not bad, I'm thinking about getting out my nickel rolls and start looking. Now also in the 1954, there's a S over D Jefferson nickel. A Men's State 63 example will bring you $50 with a 66 example bringing you $1,000. The record sales for the 54 S over D was August 18th of 2004 at a heritage auction where a Men's State 66 sold for $3,000. $450. So while you're looking at your rolls for full steps, I'd be looking for the S over D as well. Meanwhile, in the Roosevelt Dime series, if you got a 1954 Roosevelt Dime, look on the reverse for the Fiva Stant NATO 1, which is a double die reverse. This is an interesting one because the torch itself is what is doubled. Now, in a Men's State 63, you can expect to get $75, whereas a 66, you can get $425. On November 6th of 2014, at a Heritage Auction, a Men's State 66 sold for $411. Now, on the 54S Roosevelt Dime, you can take and find the no designer's initials on the obverse. It's the Fiva Stanton 901 in a Men's State 63. They bring $40, whereas a Men's State 66 full bands will get you $250. Now, that's not a whole lot of money, but it's definitely worth looking for. As you can see, this pretty much with the unaided eye. I know I look for them. Now, in the Washington Quarter Series, I really never found much interesting in the variety section, but I did find the grades and the pricing to be pretty good. On January 8, 2003, an NGC 68 example sold for $17,250. Similar to the Washington Quarter Series, the Franklin has in 1954. They did have some varieties, but I found one that the Pricing was really good, and I wanted to pass that on to you. On November the 2nd of 2016, at a Stacks and Bowers auction, a 67 full bell line sold for $14,100. I think it's a real good price. Now, when it comes to varieties on the Franklin Half Dollars, in 54, all the mints, the P, the D, the S, they all had the Bugs Bunny, or it's a die clash on the obverse of the coin. These varieties are well known. In Mint State 63, they range from $50 to $90 depending upon the mint mark. And up to an MS65, they range from $165 all the way up to $1,050. Now, the highest one I could find was an MS66, and it, it's listed for $1,500. Either way, these are easy to see pretty much with the unaided eye. So if I was you and you have some 54 Franklin has, I'd be looking for the bugs. And there you have it. This is my rendition of the year in review in 1954. Anna, I hope you appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, don't forget everyone, I am making a series of this. I'll put this one in the list so that you can take and follow along and see if maybe your birth year is in there. Um, down below in the comment section, leave us your birth year, and I'm going by the last video I made, so I'll be looking in this video in the comment section to find out the next year I'll do in review. Normally, if there's two or three with the same year, I'll take, and that's where I'll start it. Now, when I had looked at this one here, Anna was one of them. She's a good friend of the channel, and I just wanted to take and get it out for her. Everyone else, it was nothing but just one individual year. So if you have a year, put yours down. Who knows? Get two or three people to put the same year, and that'll be the next year I do in review. Now, like I said, I'm going to be putting this in a playlist so you can search in the past to see if maybe your year has already been done. We hope you like this here video. We hope you hit the thumbs up. We hope you share it with all your friends. Um, we hope you subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Hit the bell and you'll be notified whenever we go live. I do a live auction on every Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with every other Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, I've been working with Daniel Malone of Coin Help You to take and we've been going back and forth from my channel to his channel, which is Coin Help You. And what we do is we just have different topics that we're discussing, trying to help you to take and to learn more about the hobby. Now, as you've seen in this video, the prices of auctions vary from time to time. Some of them I noticed in this video, the auction prices, they slammed the prices that was on 
the guide or the well, just the guide sheets where other ones they took and the prices in the guide sheets were just too high. So you may want to go back, review some of what I said. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I think this is going to wrap it up for this video. We hope you did enjoy it. So hit the like, thumbs it up for us, subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and hit the bell and you will be notified. Until then, take care, have a wonderful week, and as I always like to say, folks, happy hunting. Thank you.